new information regarding the 14th Gen Intel Core i9, 14900K and the i7-14700K benchmark has just been leaked by the Babco Crossmark CPU database. We know for sure, the performance of the new generation chip is going to be improved. But one thing we are uncertain, how big of an improvement can we expect? To find out the answer, we will compare the i9-14900K against the 13900K, based on the information we currently have. Looking at the specs, the upcoming Core i9-14900K processor might house similar 24 cores and 32 threads as its predecessor, including the 8 performance and 16 efficiency cores, which will also remain the same. However, the clock speed on this processor is likely to get a significant boost. We can see that the new 14900K will feature 3.2 GHz, and it will go up to 6.0 GHz, whereas the i9-13900K has a base clock speed of 3.0 GHz, and boosted clock speed of up to 5.8 GHz. It is impressive but at the same time, it is at the same level as the i9-13900K. So, even though the 14900K 14 Gen processor is getting a faster clock speed compared to the 13900K, the performance remains the same as the current gen's top-tier processor. However, the 14th gen chips could potentially yield advancements from an alternate perspective. For instance, enhanced DDR5 memory control might usher an improved performance compared to the prevailing 13th gen processor. This highlights the subtle nature of technological progress where enhancements might not always be linear but can appear through diverse routes, offering users improved capabilities and experiences beyond just clock speeds. It's clear that Intel's upcoming desktop chips will involve a comprehensive overhaul of the current Raptor Lake architecture, referred to as Raptor Lake Refresh. However, the 14th Gen Meteor Lake desktop processors won't arrive anytime soon, while laptops featuring Meteor Lake chips are set to debut this year alongside Raptor Lake Refresh desktop chips. The option of swiftly acquiring the 14th Gen Meteor Lake desktop processor remains distant. If your aim was to secure the Meteor Lake processor of the 14th Gen at the earliest opportunity, transitioning to a laptop currently stands as the sole available choice. This option showcases how Intel is adopting a phased approach to introducing its latest advancements, allowing users to explore innovative technologies through laptops, while desktop users await their turn. For the motherboard, Intel's plan involves maintaining compatibility through the existing LGA-170 socket for the chip. This means that if you possess a 600 or 700 series motherboard designed for your 13th gen processor, there's no necessity for an extra purchase. This setup appears quite favorable, given that you only have to execute a straightforward BIOS upgrade. By doing so, you can seamlessly unlock support for the upcoming 14th gen processor. This approach underscores Intel's commitment to ensuring a relatively smooth transition for users, allowing them to harness the benefits of the new generation without a major overhaul in hardware. This continuity and socket compatibility not only simplifies the process for existing motherboard owners, but also potentially offers a cost-effective solution for those aiming to upgrade. As the industry advances such thoughtful measures help strike a balance between technological progress and user convenience, while also taking sustainability and cost-effectiveness into account. As we said earlier, we won't be seeing the 14th Gen Meteor Lake desktop chips this year. However, K-series processors such as 14600K, 14700K, and 14900K, featuring Raptor Lake Refresh architecture are likely to get released in the middle of October this year. According to the latest leaks and rumors, the official announcement will take place at this year's Intel Innovation Day on September 19th. Wrapping up, the price tag for the upcoming 14th Gen processor won't be much different. At the moment the Intel i9-13900K processor costs $569, assuming a similar price tag for the i9-14900K. If you're looking for the best value, then the Intel i9-13900K can be a great choice right now. However, if you don't mind waiting for a while and want completely new hardware, and CPU for your PC, then the i9-14900K is surely worth the pick. So, which one do you prefer the most? Core i9-14900K or i9-13900K? Let us know in the comments below.